This is also synthetic. So this piece I thought would be made out of leather, but is actually kind of a rubbery material. And then on the inside, this one I already removed all of the stuffing. It says Dior, and then further down it says Made in Italy. And it's a, not very cushioned, but it's like a fabric or composite sole, insole. And then on the bottom of the shoe, you have the B motif here, which I think it was Eddie Slimane who really first introduced it for the Dior Ohm line. And from what I've read, it's an homage to Christian Dior's love of gardening. You have the old logo here. So it's a funny mix of the older logo and then the new logo here. And then this is the materials tag. I think on shoes, they don't actually have to tell you what exactly the material is, but this tells you the type. So the sole is synthetic, that's the diamond shape. The inside is leather and I think it's fabric. On the outside is fabric and synthetic. I would assume they mean that this part is the fabric, but it feels more like a nylon or polyester mesh. It's definitely not cotton. And then you have some rubber or plastic pieces here. And this shoe is, in the US, this is $900. Comes with white laces. This is also the same material as this. It's slightly ribbed, it's like micro ribbed. And I think the only leather is right around here on the inside of the ankle. And I think this strip is also leather. The back of the tongue feels like suede. So this part feels like suede and it tells you the size 40 as well. And I think on the backing pieces, like right there, the solid one is also suede. But besides that, there's really not much leather, which is kind of surprising because this pair of sneakers is priced at $900 in the US. I find that a bit overpriced just now that I really got a chance to look at it and examine it. Because when I was at the Tokyo pop-up store, they only had like two or three sizes left and definitely none of them would fit me. So I really didn't bother to take too close of a look. But this one I actually found on Dior.com because I set an alert and they get restocks every now and again. I don't know if it's super limited. I think also the price point might be driving people away. 